Hey everyone, Apple just released some brand new MacBook Pros. We're gonna walk you through all the changes and what's new in this quick video. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And yes, we have the brand new 2019 MacBook Pros here with a couple huge improvements over the previous generation that we saw in 2018 with the last update coming with some new graphics towards the tail end of 2018. So what's new? Well, the biggest thing is the new Intel chipsets that were just announced, giving huge speed improvements, processor improvements to both the 13 and the 15 inch MacBook Pros. The new machines are coming in at the same starting price points as before, but with all those new beefed up internals. Starting off with the 15 inch MacBook Pro. The top tier MacBook Pro is gaining Intel's 9th generation 45 watt Core i7 CPUs. The 2399 model is jumping 400 megahertz to a 6 core i7 9750 CPU with turbo boost up to 4.5 gigahertz. While the 2799 model is now using an 8 core i9 9980 CPU at 4.8 gigahertz. Also, a new customizable configuration 15-inch MacBook Pro option is going to be available using Intel's 8-core i9 overclocked to run at 5 GHz. All of the other specs in the machine are going to pretty much remain the same. Same enclosure that you've seen before. It's got Touch ID, it's got the Touch Bar in there. It's going to have the 220 PPI display with True Tone and 500 nits of brightness, as well as the P3 wide color gamut. They'll be equipped with Radeon Pro 560X or Vega 20 graphics with up to 4 gigs of HBM2 memory, 16 gigs or 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and 512 gigs, one, two, or four terabyte SSD options. Now let's deviate from the 15 inch MacBook Pros to the 13 inch MacBook Pros. The 13 inch MacBook Pro on the 1799 model now is getting a 300 megahertz jump in CPU speed to use Intel's 8th generation 15 watt Core i5-8365 CPU with a turbo boost speed up to 4.1 GHz. The custom configuration option for an Intel i7 is also getting upgraded by 300 MHz to Intel's Core i7-8665U. Otherwise, the same specs we've seen before, 227 PPI Retina display, looks gorgeous, P3 wide color gamut, true tone, and 500 nits of brightness should be perfect for inside outside. All the stuff that we've seen to love from the MacBook Pros, four Thunderbolt 3 ports that also work with USB-C, everything else is gonna be the same. Now, the last thing we didn't mention about these machines is not only do they have those CPU upgrades, but Apple is working on that keyboard. So this is the fourth generation butterfly keyboard. Apple has once more said that this has been improved a ton, gonna stop those double clicking keys and just debris from getting under those keys. So this one hopefully will fix the problem. At the same time, Apple is extending their service program for the keyboards that are failing. It'll now include the 2018 MacBook Pros. Previously, those were excluded. Now those are included in the updated version of their extended service program. So that is what we have for you guys today. Brand new MacBook Pros, 13 and 15 inch, huge performance boost, as well as brand new upgraded keyboards to hopefully fix any of those issues that we saw. Let us know down below in the comments if you guys are excited. Once we have links, we'll put those links down below in the description for you so you can get your own as soon as they are available. And stay tuned at WWDC. We may see a sneak preview of the brand new Mac Pro, fully modular. It's gonna be really exciting. So stick with us and uh, we'll check you out in the next video. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.